Welcome, welcome everyone to another episode of the Canon Culture Podcast. I am your host, Just Jay Sama, and I'm here with my producer, Producer Plank. Today we're talking about a couple of big announcements, you know, nothing too crazy. Just to start it off, Big Planko! I know you've seen the new Borderlands reveal, my boy. Yeah. Of course, you know, the movie just came out. Big stinker, big bomber, and, uh, you know, they've really been cooking up this new game for a minute, man, and uh, everybody's gotta agree, it's gotta be better than the last one, right? That's a, that's what a lot of people were saying. Like a lot of people were saying, "Oh, Borderlands Three was bad, but the Four has been in development for years, so it can't be." So it was like, Three. I mean, yeah. Three was a direct sequel to the movement changes of pre sequel and the success of Borderlands Two, and then they added the story elements from uh, the Telltale games. So I don't know. Somebody on the internet's being a hater. Uh, I'm that's, included. That's- I don't, uh, unless they could get like a new writer or a new setting or like just absolutely fuck off with, I don't know. You're not looking know, forward the, to the Volt Hunter War? Not particularly. Handsome Jack no, coming back? You're not, you're not interested? You could bring Handsome Jack back a million times. I don't think it'll save the story. Mm. What do you think will stay, save the story? Like, what do you want to see in it? Um, Bad bitches, obviously. I, I just want unique characters, not like the 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 four we got were okay. They were decent, but I just think they, they didn't have enough time to cook. No, I'm sorry. Go ahead. They had plenty of time, though. I think. I mean, granted, they were they were trying to get funds for forever, right? For Borderlands Three, I think that was the the issue. Yeah, that but seemed like uh, some of the characters were a little bit more thrown together. But the, the the gameplay itself wasn't like, oh my god, and the story was ass. Well, obviously it was ass, but ass Ooh, until like the last section. But the design of the maps are basically the same from two, like, I don't, two and, I guess three, two and three. Or no, two, two, sorry. Two and pre-sequel, sorry. But these games, like, they're not, they're not interesting. Like, the, the sub-bosses were not interesting. The bosses were not interesting farming was absolutely the most boring aspect of a, a borderlands game which should never be the actual weaponry was not nothing like really you can't i bet you you can't name a, a legendary weapon from borderlands 3 right now one you a, can't name one a legendary from borderlands 3 no i really can't no you can't exactly you know, what's funny is you the can't. names i came up with were uh, from borderlands 2 <laughs> exactly you can't you can only <laughs> name borderlands 2 legendaries because they had so much character and they were all interesting to yeah. a certain extent or most of them the references to other games were made at best like there was only a few the side quests were boring um and sometimes just like ass uh i don't give a fuck about roland i'm sorry we can be 30 years in the, like we yeah roland is just like he's not he's not he hasn't been interesting since two he hasn't been interesting since he died uh, Lilith is cool. Her story ended fine. Like, I wasn't, I didn't dislike it, but I didn't like, oh, it wasn't like, oh my God, Lilith is dead. Oh my God. I wasn't anything like that, but yeah, it's just like a boring, like they, they just don't know how to write the story. They don't know how to make the game. Like they just keep, um, they just make new shit of the old, like, like the old format. Like the format is the same. The skill trees. I mean, the skill trees are fine. I actually don't dislike the skill trees. Um, mm-hmm. I think they should. There should have been three uh, for each character. I think there was only two. No, there was three. Um, there was four after the DLC, but there should. The one thing that Borderlands always has to do is they have to make characters of different varieties because four characters will never be enough in any video game ever. When it comes to like mm. build crafting and anything like that, I think Diablo yeah. got away with it because there was, um, there was at least a thought in everyone's mind that there may be like, there potentially is a possibility of characters coming in Diablo Four, but there was just never any characters. So, but yeah, they just they just need different builds like. There's always a melee character. I don't even think there was a... Was there a melee character in this one? 
I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm no, there was all the characters right now in Borderlands Three. I don't. It was the the anyone. Black Siren girl. She was cool, but she was like she was a uh, she was based on her uh, siren abilities. There was the Some robot natural? dude. Yeah, I don't know. There was the the dude with the beast hunter. Oh yeah, yeah and his. Beast. There was the clone guy, the dude with the clones and shit. Who I played, he was cool. I forgot his name, but he was cool. Um, I I don't. What do he look like? He was a white dude with um. All right, well. He was gray hair and a mustache and like a beard. Why am I thinking of Axton, but like older? That dude. Uh, it yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. He looks actually. exactly like that, but. I think he's the only one who I can think of, and you know the Symmetra looking ass chick. So, and there was one more. I don't remember who it was. I feel like it was a girl. No. I believe it was a girl. Um. I don't know if I played her like that, Borderlands Three. But it was a girl. Uh, it was Moe's. She was like, she was like a, one of the OP characters, but she was like mm. super ass. There's Amara Zane, Moe's, and the uh, robot guy whose name I don't give a fuck about. So, gotcha, gotcha. The guy who was like trying to be zero. He wanted to be zero so bad. Nah, he wasn't zero. Oh fuck. That's the thing. Yeah, he wasn't. It wasn't even close. Uh, it was so, it was done by one of the YouTubers though, Song One, or Pro ZD, and he was cool. He actually did a really good job voice acting. But... Now he wasn't really like Zero though, because he Zero was a melee. You could play him melee based mostly, right? Uh, or you could have really I mean, strong I mean his melee builds. Archetype, bills. not his uh oh. character design. Well, actually, his character design, not his archetype. So, oh, okay. Well, yeah. They're like, yeah, we need a fucking slow ass, mentally slow robot. Yeah, nah, I'm. I don't think we need a Borderlands Four. They could have gone any other way. I don't know why they decided to do this. Um, honestly, I probably would have like did did like a pre sequel kind of game where we just kind of expanded the lore. But there's nothing to expand on because most of it got expanded on three. It was just really bad. Like the Telltale stuff, where Reese and and shit like that, and the the new Siren storyline. I mean, or it was just ass. I don't know. I agree. I agree. I didn't like the whole YouTuber shit. Oh, what like the streamer? Like, oh, that we're shit streamers. Was so lame, blur, bro. Oh my god, it was such bullshit. Yeah, Who it was ass. Put this in here, bro. It, it they had a couple of funny lines but like they were it was mostly like uh this is like we are absolutely capitalizing on this and it it's not it's never really a good uh story anyway so yeah no i don't like, i don't like this streamer based shit there's like a yeah it's just cringe and no uh, i don't think they did it right if that's how they were going to do it that's i mean that's not it i mean i could i could understand if they were doing more of like they're planetary streamers instead of just to just Pandora, you know, or whatever fucking I don't know where the fuck Borderlands. Yeah, it, place. It, it, the it, the story just doesn't work. Like you yeah. don't have to try to justify it or try to like find a, a, a way. It's to, just though. like it doesn't it doesn't yeah. work. I, I mean, it it coulda it coulda no it doesn't because work. Uh, this, this is what I'm gonna tell you. Um, it definitely would have helped with world building. Because if they're like streaming to multiple planets that also have vaults, and there's like they're basically like streaming to specific vault hunters, like that'd be that, I think that would be kind of cool. That would be a cool way to establish the rest of the universe, you know, like and all the other vaults that exist and all the other characters that they could design. You know what I mean? Like on other planets, so that way we don't have to stick to this same old like, oh, Lilith just died, like. Um, you know, we're still chasing after the ghost of Roland and all this other bullshit and you know, they could just like wipe the slate clean and do like a whole almost like a reboot, really. So I mean the the only way that would have worked and and this would actually have been interesting, like if they were galactic streamers or or whatever like that, or the, the streamers of, of different different vault hunters, hey, they'd have to be really fucking corny. Vault hunters have never been that corny. So True, true. Two and it would ma it would only make sense if for half like or for a, uh, a large part of the game, you you basically make the new because they're they're essentially what is it they got the map or whatever of all the vaults vaults they have to hunt 
Yeah. If you just make uh, kind of like how Borderlands Two, you see, you get everyone uh, introduced on the train. Yeah. But you see every you see, you start with the characters that are like essentially their vault is about to get stolen, and by uh by the other motherfuckers, these loser fucking characters. The twins. Uh, for, yeah. No, 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 not the twins. Like our our current the, our vault hunters at the oh, end of the, the story. the current ones. Okay. The, the Borderlands Three ones at the end of the story, but you sweat you play from the perspective of the of the guys who are about to go hunt. Hey man, it sounds it sounds like you need to be writing this next game, bro. That shit sounds well, that, cool. That only works if like you're not a fucking like moron writing the story. So it sounds cool as hell. It would, but then it'd be weird because then you have to switch back over or fight them. Uh, I think a switch would be why, interesting. Why, I mean, why not? Yeah, a switch. A switch okay. would be interesting. You're like a full build, and you get to fight your your character. And then not then their build, but you can introduce new characters later on with like expansions and stuff like that that get added to the story. So then you could just create whole new vault hunters, and then just create a whole perspective of their perspective during the events of the things that are happening in that game. Like that's that's hello, yeah, that works. That That'd works. Be- it works, but they one thing they love one writing uh like one writing fixation they have is they always love putting old characters back in even when they they probably don't work like um even Krieg Krieg has a DLC claptrap and shit like that so it'd have to be like oh well Krieg is actually following you this whole time that's that's one thing they love doing or like they just love annoying you with old characters that probably have no place being in there but. Yeah, they they always do that. And even They'll with the Roland be like, oh, this is uh, you know, Roland's team before he ended up with the Crimson Raiders. Like, oh my god, like, bro, shut up. He's not that important of a character. I like that character, but what did Kanye say? I'm gonna piss on your grave, bro. I don't care. I think it was only like important because of the the two like love story kind of logs and the get. twist. That was it, bro. That was cool one time, one time. Why are we digging this nigga back up, bro? What did Mister Crab say? Am I really gonna defile this grave for money? Of course I am. Like, bro, get the fuck out of here. With the worst shit. part is like in Borderlands One, he wasn't even that cool. Like I, I never no, played. Really I wasn't. never liked Roland. Like I never yeah. liked the turret shit. Shitty character for sure. I, I never really liked that. Like you could yeah, you ass. throw it on a turn and like it might heal you, it can do damage, it gives you ammo, whatever. Like that should suck you cool. off. Yeah, something like that. Something but the other stupid. characters were just way cooler. Like every one of them was cooler. Yeah, I think my first playthrough I, I played as Lilith. Just because she had the like phase touch ability and you yeah, would, the like, phase, explode. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You would explode whenever she touched you. I was like, Oh, that's fucking fire. I played brick because I wanted to punch things. Punching things uh, was yeah, fun. Sure. Shit, good shit. And then I played Mordecai, I think, because my dad played Mordecai. Yeah, he really put you on on that one. He did. He was playing it one day when what, I came. What other came games home. have has your dad put you on? There was one we were talking uh, about the other day. I don't even remember. I I do remember the conversation. I don't remember what game though. Hmm. Oh, it was, was Dynasty Warriors. Dynasty Warriors. Yeah, 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 yeah. That shit is cool, man. That shit is cool. Yeah, it's cool. And I guess GTA, but GTA is I I played it because we had it, bro. That's not nah. When uh, in San Andreas on a PS2 because my dad had one. Oh, I was on a GameCube. Ah, type shit, type shit. Good old pops, man. Appreciate him. Really turned you into the man you are today, man. My bad. I guess. (laughs) I don't. I don't fucking. I gotta pick up a uh, Wukong later this week, so it'll be the first game I actually like. Am interested in playing? I don't know why I'm interested in playing it, but kind of am. It looks really nice. It looks cool. I mean, it's not. I'm not gonna play it. It's not a, uh... especially with way more games up my alley coming out, like the Dead Rising or uh, yeah, the Dead Rising remaster, um, the Metaphor Refantazo, which is the Persona done by the Persona Studio. A what? Um, Persona Studio Atlas? Yes. No, 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 no. I'm I'm aware. What's it called? Metaphor Re Fantasy or some shit oh. like that. Oh, that's the that's the new one. It kind of looks like uh Persona 3, right? Well, it's not Persona. Nah, it's like a uh, a fantasy version of Persona. Oh, okay. For sure. And with no child loving, so. Cool. Oh, thank goodness. 
I hope they put a little suicide in there, though. Gotta have that. Oh, they will. Yeah, suicide is like sure. a must. Gotta off yourself. How else yes, are you going to start the isekai? Type shit. Sure, for sure. I got to pick that one up, or? No, you can't even play Persona 5. You don't. Huh? You can't even play Persona 5 for like 10 minutes, so. No one, oh. yeah. I just can't commit to it. That's all. It, it's just, you know, it's like trying to get me Bro, into you One been, Piece. You haven't been able to commit to it for like three years. Like, it's it's really over for you. Like, just don't even try to play the game. All right, all right, all right. Like. If you can't, if you but haven't played it though. or not willing to play it, like, just, just, yeah. I mean, I was Let having fun down. with it, though. It's just, I prefer yeah. to, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. That was one that I was preferring to stream. And, like, because I, I haven't been streaming lately, that's the only reason why I haven't gone back to it. You, there's no it. point in streaming it. It's a boring game to stream. I, you know what? I realized that, but the specific people that I streamed to enjoyed watching it and helping me play through it. So, but that's listen, the, man, that's the it's thing. over. It's over. Don't try to justify it. If you can't play it, I'm going to play it on my own it. time. How about that? I'm going to play it on my own time. Good luck. I'll, I'll report you, there's back. too much shit. Just don't even. Too much it's, shit. It's a... it's a fucking video game. I'm still playing Disgaea 7, though. So, do you, you have 100 hours just like you can, you can do? You just have I 100 hours? Do. Yeah, 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 actually. Yeah, um, you, let me actually let me pull up how much time you, I've put into Gaia Seven. No, no, no. Do you have a hundred hours free time? Like, oh, yeah. to actually play it, maybe like yeah, two to play hours the game here and there. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. That's the thing about Persona Five is, is like you actually need five hours to sit down to like get through a chapter. You know what I mean? Like you can't play two hours of it, stop mid dungeon, and then just come back like three, four days later. You know what I mean? Like you have to at least finish each chapter. And I think that's been that was actually the hardest part about playing that game like with disgaea like uh, on for example disgaea 7 pretty good story not as good as five i feel like five four three four and five have the best stories right and mm -hmm. seven is great because it's it's quirky it's funny it's relatable but also has like it's very very like um if you like anime you'll be like oh okay there's a ton of fucking japanese references specifically for anime and they like talk about mo like you know, like sacred manga and all this other shit. It's it's actually pretty funny, right? The writing's pretty good. But you can stop at any point because of the way the game is made. Like, if you're not able to complete certain parts of the story, that's okay. Because they will always have some form of recaps available for you. Or as you're playing the game, uh, you'll be you'll have multiple stopping points. Persona does not have that. Like I have to finish a whole fucking dungeon in order to get to the next area, and it's just, it's not feasible. And that's not the uh, game's fault, that's just, you know, I'm an adult, I don't, I don't have enough time. Which is unfortunate. You can't, I mean, it just depends how fast you play. Like, I, I can, uh, I've See, but played... I'm, like, fully locked in, you know what I mean? I'm, like, reading dialogue, I'm, like, looking at shit on the walls, I'm doing all sorts of shit, because it's an RPG. So, of course, I'm going to pay attention to every... That's why it took me fucking 100 hours to finish the first chapter of Baldur's Gate. Like, I'm still not done with Baldur's Gate. Yeah. So, I think I'm, all, I'm like, midway... Maybe midway through chapter 3. Maybe. So, and that's just on one playthrough. I think on, on another playthrough, I'm in the middle of chapter 2. Uh... One of them, I'm, I'm like for sure still on chapter one because I'm like crafting this character and like their, their archetype and like who are they gonna like are they gonna be an asshole to this character or that character and having context of other characters later on that you're that you know you're gonna like lock in with and you're like oh this is gonna be like my main squeeze right here you know what I mean and it's the same thing when I played Mass Effect when I played Mass Effect I did the same thing I had three different playthroughs of like three different versions of Shepard I wanted to be. And that shit took me forever to finish, but I appreciated that game more because I could do that. So, those games are crafted in a way that, you know, I appreciate them to a certain, to, like, an extraordinary extent. And Persona is kind of that way, too. Like, I'm trying to give Persona that, you know, spot to be able to do that, but, you know, I can't really, not that I can't latch on to the story, it's just, I can't 
do it in pieces, like I was saying. You know what I mean? Like, I can't enjoy it for two hours and then just come back in a couple of days because it just doesn't, the game just doesn't work that way. I mean, you kind of can, but it's like, it's difficult. You have to know you what get... you're doing in order to be able to play that way, though. I mean, not really. Like, you can, you can save pretty much that. Uh, unless you're like deep into some dialogue, you can honestly you could just save there, or I know you can't save, but uh, you could save after the dialogue, or you could save at a lot. There's a lot of save points in the game, except for like really heavy dialogue sessions. So, so. Yeah, but you you could. I mean, it's not really that difficult to um to like stop and come back. I'd say um, it's just a lot of time. Yeah, it's a it's a lot of time, and if I'm not, like, really, really invested... Like, that's why I was, like, the first couple of times I was playing the game, I was like, this is why I really like Kamoshida, because he's a character that stands out at the beginning. He seems the most realistic. He seems, like, the most most likely to actually exist. That's what I... I that's kind of the way I've been playing this game, is which one of these characters gets the award of most likely to be a real person in real life, and Kamoshida takes it, like, across the board, like... He's that creepy fucking PE teacher that's low key like assaulting the girls and all this other shit. Like that's that's interesting. That's it. That's uh, not interesting. But that is a different point of view to take with a character. And he's hilarious. Like anytime he opens his mouth, he's saying some dumb shit. That's why I think he's genuinely one of my favorite characters at the beginning of the game. He just has the biggest impression next to like Morgan, but. Even then, that's kind of... Who the fuck is Morgan? Morgana? Oh, Morgana, there you go. Yeah, see, I can barely even keep keep up with the names anymore, man. I gotta start the game over again. Because I don't remember. It, it's just not worth for you to play. There's all too right, much. Alright, I'm much gonna finish it on my own time. I'm just gonna stop telling you. I'm gonna finish it on my own time. So sit down, I'm gonna play two hours here, two hours there. I gotta take notes, clearly. Not really, it's not so. that serious. Uh, I don't know. It, it kind of is, because I really want to finish the game. You only need to take notes if you want to, like, do all the side, side shit. That, yeah, I think the, the hardest part is wrapping my head around the confidant system, even though I could do that in Mass Effect, no problem. I could do that in several other games, no problem. But for this game, for some reason, I don't know why it seems difficult to me. It is difficult. There's yeah. so many moving parts uh, and different answers like, yeah. and different dialogues that like stem off into this character is gonna like you more because of this very one specific niche dialogue that you, option that you picked. Like that shit. Is well, you. Just I just looked up. All, I just looked them all. It's oh. not that. It's not that serious. I don't know about that. That I, I do like that, but also at the same time I kind of don't because I would like to discover those things on my own. But in a you game like yeah. Elden Ring, it's like I kind of have to look up those options you know because otherwise yeah. you won't know how to fight specific bosses or get specific items if you don't look those things up that way so it's kind of a kind of a weird um double standard for those games so i don't know i don't want to treat it that way but that's just kind of how you, you I, just like if you're gonna play just look up the uh Look up the school answers and like the confidant shit because there's no point to figure it out. It's just like, it's it's ridiculous. There's so many options for each character. Each character can do something. If you have the right persona, you can get more from it. Mm. Uh, it's just it's like isn't it's there too like much. also item benefits too? Like when like giving certain characters certain yeah. items and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. And then some characters won't accept the same gift twice. Or some some shit. I don't know if that's true. I mean, I think probably. Yeah, I don't know. That might be true. I, I have the gift system is weird. Yeah, I remember Scarlet Nexus had something very similar to that, and some characters absolutely hated it when you gave them. They, it, as a matter of fact, it was actually a negative. They reviewed it. They uh, viewed it negatively on the main character if you gave them the, uh, you know, a similar if not the same item uh, or the same gift multiple times. They'd be like, "Yo, what the fuck." And then one one or two of the characters actually really don't like that you you can re-gift other other gifts. So like 
in Scarlet Nexus, one character will give you a specific item and it'll increase your, well, we can call it like the confidant level in that game, right? It'll increase your mm -hmm. confidant level and you'll get new combo abilities with that character. But then if you take that item and another character also has a fondness for that item and you give it to them, the character that originally gave you that gift is going to view you negatively for re-gifting their gift to you. And then the character that you just gifted it to is also going to look at you negatively because they're going to be like, wow, you really don't care about your friend's gifts, now do you? And it's like, oh shit. The first time I discovered that, I was, I was so locked in, I was just kind of like, no, this bitch didn't di just disrespect me and I got this fucking diamond necklace for this bitch. Like, huh? Shit is crazy. So, if it's anything like that, then, you know. No, you can give them the same shit. They just okay, have to like sure. it, I think. You think? I think <laughs> if you give it to them multiple times, I don't think they like it as much, or you don't get any points for it. I think. Sure. For sure. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it it sounds literally like hundred percent fun. Uh, it's. I don't know. I haven't played the game for the first time since like twenty fourteen or some or twenty fifteen or some shit like that. So. I I'm can't really it. describe how fun I'll, it is. I'll let you. I'll let you know what my experience is. So I'll just play it offline. For sure. How I how I get to it? Wasn't there like another game announcement? Oh, Dying Light: The Beast. I didn't even see anything on that. I just saw screenshots. Did you see anything about that? Yeah, it's um, it's like a standalone game where you can play as Kyle Crane. No thanks. Unless it's got uh, the Dying Light 1 movement, I don't, I don't give a shit. I truly do not care. Yeah, we need like a grappling hook again. There's that one. Yeah, they did a teaser for No More Room in Hell 2. Oh, it yeah. wasn't anything like crazy. It was just like, uh, it was like the same shit. Same thing we've been seeing? Uh, it was slightly different. It was like, you see the perspective of people dying and they're like shouting and shit. Is it cinematic or is it like... It's in, a cinematic, yeah. It's a <sighs> teaser. Actually, actually, no, it might be in-game, but... In-game engine or in-game? In-game engine. Might as well be a cinematic trailer. Yeah. <laughs> you getting a the, little bit of gameplay, but... You getting the Marvel vs. Capcom collection? When is that supposed to drop? I don't know. I don't... I'm not playing that shit, though. You're not gonna... You're not gonna play it? Wait, 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 wait. Is there, no. is there a reason why, or...? I, I just... It's just Marvel vs. Capcom. I'm not a big, like... And lover of it, I guess. Really? I did not know nah, that. No, not really. Might be Arrows type of thing. Marvel has never been my fighting game. It's just not one I enjoy. You get in, uh... I mean, I know you're getting uh, Project L. I, uh, I played Project shit. L last week. So. How you like it? I mean, it's free. So yeah, I'm going to be playing What it. is it? 2K... 2, 2X? 2XKO. 2XKO. 2 times KO. That is... No, it's actually pronounced 2XKO, not like 2, yeah. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't know why they made that distinction, like it really matters, but it, apparently it I, does. I don't know. I would have thought it was 2 Knockout. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. 2 Knockout is actually a much better title than 2XKO. Not gonna lie. It is, but... Project L is, was, was the best title. Was, holy shit, that's a good title. Yeah, Project L is crazy. Yeah, so that's how I'll be referring to it. So, sue me, I guess. Eat my ass from the back. Damn. So, were you on a on, give us give, give me a little you know insight, like how you feeling about it? How you feel about the some of the characters that were available? Um, are you I, I are, you're not into it. league like that, are you? Or, nah, not particularly. Okay. I played League like maybe three times, but uh, it, it's a fun game to play. Like I, I actually enjoy the some of the characters. I fuck with Echo. Echo's cool. Yeah. Of course, of course. There's a lot of interesting aspects to the game. So I mean, I probably will be playing it. That they have a battle pass for some reason, but in a fighting game. Uh, well, everything well, has a battle pass versus that one has one too. So yeah. Speaking of multiverses, yeah, I saw that uh, thing you sent me. Uh, Powerpuff, Powerpuff Girls, Girls coming. Yeah. You think they're going to be like a combined, or you think they're going to be separately playable? 
Um, they could be. I think they'll be the same character, though. Like, I think, or either you'll play as the, you'll play as one, and then the other ones will come out in, like, special moves or, or whatever, or maybe you can switch, and you can get different, like, kind of like a Pokemon trainer in, in, like, Smash Bros. or whatever. That's what I was thinking. You, that'd be cool, but I don't know I if they I need the, the Rowdy Rough Boy skin. Yeah. That'd be kind of cool. That'd be dope. I need they just Man killed Samurai drop. Jack, though. Oh, Really? He, they they actually nerfed the fuck out of him. Yeah, he's so he's so cooked. Oh, worse than when we were playing the other day. No, they that that update just came out. Oh, my condolences. They, they did the well. They did another big one. Thanks. They did the initial one that made the side um side special like the little slash the forward slash. Uh huh. They made that like not go as far. I think they fixed the. They just nerfed the fuck out of his jab or like the big kick. Shit. The Bigfoot. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, the sandal. Yeah, they nerfed Beat a my bunch ass of shit. That shit, bro. They nerfed a bunch of shit. He's like, he's actually, he might be unplayable, but uh, fuck it, I guess. He was, he was borderline unplayable the other day when we were playing. I was like, bro, I am able to, like, read your shit as Harley. I mean, obviously, you were still beating my ass because I'm terrible at this game, but, you know. Still. Yeah. I think this is the one game where, like, it, it takes me the longest to get mad at you while we're playing. Cause like mm. I, I just I reminisce obviously us playing fighters. I'd play two matches and be done. I'd be like, yeah, I don't want to play with you. Anymore. It, it fighter like anime fighters are like the most annoying because you just die. You die in two hits, and if you're not good, you're just gonna get you're just gonna get clobbered. Like even a, even a yeah, it's not like the mixes mix ups are not normal. Like they're annoying. They're annoying as fuck to deal with. I need uh, multiverses to get it together, though, because they got this. Uh, I was seeing a lot of pe people on Twitter um, because Marvel Rivals. Beetlejuice. Yeah, oh, no. yeah, Beetlejuice, and uh, people were responding to Marvel Rivals being having all free characters, which means that Ease is going to monetize the shit out of these skins, which is, which is cool, you know, because... They obviously have really good art direction, so I'll pay for yeah. some skins. Fuck it, why not? Like, and there's there's probably going to be some paid events too, so fuck it. I mean, I I enjoy playing the game, but people were saying how multiverses. I was seeing this a lot, like at least ten, twelve, maybe fifteen other comments of people saying, "Wow, I wish multiverses could do this. Multiverses could learn a thing or two. And then one person was like, "Yeah, Beetlejuice only dropping for Gleemium." For like, I think it's two weeks or something like that. It was like borderline extremely greedy. I was like, oh mm. man, that's that's an interesting that's an interesting tank. Nah, you get early about it. You get early access if you pay the glamium basically or like the premium currency, and you get there. Uh, yeah, How he'll do you feel come about out. That? I think. I mean, obviously, you play the game and you do dailies and you're grinding the battle pass, but you know. Uh, I mean, I. I mean, I might be able to, like, I'll probably only play, I won't play the mid-season character. Um, I'll probably just, because they used to do the riff thing, especially with Agent Smith. They stopped doing that, and now they've just adjusted to this new system of, oh, okay, we can, we'll just, like, do the early access, mid-season shit. You can do a couple of riffs, uh, maybe get some currency for this event. Uh, but the new events are pretty cool. Like, I mean, they're it's riff, so it's ass. But I mean, the the things you get from the events are decently cool, and they kind of make you want to do them. But the the character, I mean, I don't like Beetlejuice. I don't like the way he plays in the game because I played the. If you play the riffs, you can play him a little bit. I don't like the way he plays. Uh, he's not like a part of a franchise I really super deeply care about. Like, if the if St Static Shock were a mid season character, I think I'd lose my mind. Like doing uh, like I I might hurt hurt someone, for like sure. that shit is ridiculous. Understandable. I it's probably crazy for I guess people care about the Beetlejuice property property. Like I I don't, but I mean I understand. You know it. what's funny is I I don't think the two fandoms overlap. I don't think people who are interested in Beetlejuice are playing multiverse. Something tells mm. me that they're not. You know what I mean? Like Beetlejuice is a cool character, but I don't I don't think he's like a 
oh shit, Beetlejuice is in this game. I, I let me let me look into this game. You know what I mean? I don't think he's a conversation starter. I don't think he's a he's a character that gets a needle to, mover. Yeah, yeah, he's not a needle mover at all. I don't think he's a. I mean, the game being free to play is very helpful because then you could just kind of drop in. But then when you realize you can't play Beetlejuice upon yeah, immediately. downloading the game, yeah, you're gonna be like, I don't want to play. And then they have the character rotation. So if Beetlejuice is not immediately available, you know, the week of, it's going to be like, e- even if I was like somebody who wasn't aware of multiverses and I did like, you know, kind of like we were saying, and I did like Beetlejuice or I liked Ghostbusters or I liked, you know, any of these other properties that they're going to add to the game, right? Mm-hmm. You can't just you can't just start the game up and play the characters that you want to play. And I think that's that's terrible. It's just not a... Just not a way to play. Yeah, so. but that's just that's just how fighting games are are gonna be. Um, yeah, unfortunately. If you're that's especially running the free to play way. I mean, I guess. I mean, or you gotta you get money make somewhere. The game, just make the game fifty dollars, bro. Just make the game fifty dollars up front. No one would play this. No one would play. You don't think, you don't think people no. would? I mean, people are playing no. Tekken Seven or Tekken, Tekken 8. Seven is a way better game than this game. Than multiverses. Uh, one thousand percent. Smash Bros. Communi- is still selling copies at seven, yeah, at sixty dollars a piece. I'd say Smash Bros. is good too. So at least Smash Bros. They you come with a complete roster. Like maybe you'll you you will play pay for some characters like Sora, um, uh, not Snake because he's a main character. Sora, Cloud. No, Cloud is a main character. I there's Isn't all Sephiroth these other properties. In the game? Sephiroth, Sephiroth is in the game, but he's yeah, I think he's the base game. I remember seeing that as a character pack. Uh, he might be a character, but mm-hmm. I haven't paid for fucking characters in that game in like two years, so sure, I don't. I don't even know. So you think but it's justifiable just for for Smash Bros, but not multiverses, just because it's not there yet, or? Um, I mean, a it's not there yet. B, um, like I, I think the this like when you get sales, you kind of can do more. I just don't think. Uh, I don't think they've got it so far. That, and I don't think the the properties are really like are there yet. You have a lot of DC characters and shit. You got a couple of like you know Cartoon Network and and shit like that. They need to drop uh, Mordecai and Rigby. That's what I was thinking. I mean, yeah, that'd be cool. Powerpuff Girls is cool. I mean, I've been looking. Obviously, I've been saying that since day one. I wanted to play as the Powerpuff Girls. Powerpuff Girls, Mandark, Mojo Jojo, you know, Samurai Jack, obviously. Uh, maybe some of the Teen Titans. But, bro, yeah, they dropped like Mordecai are. and Rigby. Oh, man, it's it, it's over. Like, that that's actually going to move some units, bro. If yeah, they I'm did um, Grim and Evil or uh, Billy and Mandy, bro. Pfft, hello? Yeah, they'd go hard. Yeah, so, you know, do, do some shit that's a little relevant. You know what I mean? Like... I already know Mordecai and Rigby going to be up to some shit. They'll definitely play like Ice Climbers, for sure. Mm. For sure, for sure. Ugh. If not, I mean, that's how I thought. I, yeah. That's Actually, now that I think about it, that's how I thought uh, Rick and Morty were going to play, but they're two separate characters, uh, which I'm very yeah. surprised by. So. They're pretty cool, uh, I would say. Yeah, Rick, Rick, is, Rick is all right to play. Morty is kind of cool. So. Morty has Morty was like he was one of the best characters in the game for a while, and they just nerfed the shit out of him. So. Yeah. Or not? Yeah, I would know. I can't. I I have to wait every two weeks to be able to play a new character, so it doesn't fucking matter. You just got to play every day, basically. And the uh, the new actually what they've been doing now is pretty decent. Like the events, you can get a decent amount of coins if you do the rift events and shit like that. So it's not like I terrible. You know what? It, I I would be a little less salty and sour about it. If I could play every character in like practice mode, you can. Like, like, oh, you can. Of course you can. All yes. right, let me let me shut the fuck up then. I don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, you, yeah, that's that and, was crazy. Uh, you try I, to get that shit also off because I don't be in the lab. So yeah, I wouldn't know. Or at least like in player matches, let me do that. Because uh, we don't I get mean, shit. Maybe. We don't get shit for playing player matches. We literally get nothing. Yeah, that'd be interesting. I mean, I think the the rotation shit is fine. I mean, player matches, if you could play everybody, that'd be cool. But the problem is, like, the XP shit, I think. And because if you don't own the character, like, if you get one character on a rotation, you can level them up 
uh, fine. But if you don't own the character, you can't level them up. So that'd be that'd be a cool concept to change. That if you no, do it's... like level, you can level the character up, which would prompt you to like want to buy that character. You're like, uh, damn! You can... I I've been playing as Bugs Bunny in in you know player matches with you. You know what I mean? And I don't have Bugs Bunny in my in my game because I haven't purchased him. But if I get to Bugs to like level nine, level ten, and shit like that, I'm like, damn, maybe. Maybe I should just spend a dollar, ten dollars, and and get Bugs Bunny. You know what I mean? Like he got some mm. cool skins. You know, he's got he's kind of one of the like major mascots of this game. Yeah, let me go ahead and spend the money. You know what I mean? Like that's it. Kind of entices you. I just think that's what people would use the lab for. Like you spend ten minutes in the training room, you're like, okay, this character is cool or whatever. I mean, player matches would be fun to use whoever you wanted, especially when it doesn't doesn't, doesn't count like, for shit. It. Yeah, it doesn't count. You don't get any XP for it. Like it's just like it's there because you're you want to test something or yeah. Ma- you I mean, play with fuck it, make it to where you don't get character level either. Sure. You you already don't if you don't own them. Oh so. well, then this that's bullshit. Oh. Monetization, I guess. Warner Bros. I forgot. Uh, yeah, it, it it's tough. I still enjoy the game, so I. I don't oh yeah, it's fun. fun. It's fun to play. Like. Get my ass beat by Samurai Jack 13 times in a row is pristine Didn't gameplay. Happen. It probably would have been worse if I played Joker. Honestly. Although playing against Joker is pretty fun. Because playing against Joker, um, who else is a hilarious character? Tom and Jerry. Tom and uh, Jerry is cool. Yeah, it's just some characters, like when you get beat by them, it's just fucking hilarious. So. I'd be trying to play as Tom and Jerry so that way I can hear Tom fucking screaming when he <laughs> falls off the stage. Yeah, that's just, the <laughs> the fucking scream is hilarious. Yes. Yeah, so, game is just really very fun and entertaining. I'll I'll keep playing it for a while. I if they uh if they make a few changes to like the way the game plays or not plays but like some of the business stuff, then I'll I'll probably play it more often. But other than that, I mean, if I'm not playing with you, I don't. I mean, I, there's, I, yeah. There's been a couple of times where I have like my own played it and like did a couple of matches online, and you know, I, I think I've won majority of my matches that I play online, but that's because it puts me against scrubs, so mm-hmm. which is cool. Keep putting me against scrubs. Mm-hmm. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I would love to see this game become more popular, but something tells me it's not gonna. Like a barrier for some game. Uh, it's just like a platform fighter when there's a, already a lot of like really strong platform fighters. I mean, the properties work. Uh, I think they're it's way better than All Star Brawl. I guess the the most that obvious Nick, comparison. Nickelodeon one. Yeah, the, that one. That game kind of fell off like crazy. So it's. I think because one didn't have the they tried to. Uh, rush it off the, the, uh, the voices and shit. And then they, uh, yeah, they actually did put voices in the game eventually. Um, well, by that time, it's just, it's, the damage is yeah, done. It was over. It's already too late. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was already too late. Everything is already over. You killed your momentum before you even got started. Fucking losers. But the game was fun. Like, I really enjoyed that was, game was really, really fun to play. All Star Brawl 2. Or 1, sorry. I enjoyed that game quite a bit. You have a a platformer that you prefer out of all all of them. I mean, right now it's um, right now it's multiverses. But I mean, I like Brawlhalla. Brawlhalla is fun. Um, I play a little bit of Smash. Not as I don't play Smash like super super frequently anymore. Uh, I did quite a bit when it was like super popular, but um, it's it's multiverses right now. It's like the funnest game for me. Um. Yeah, I love it. It would have been All Star Brawl, but they fucked the whole game up, and everyone stopped playing. So, I love that you're having fun with it, man. I'll let you know when I find one. Marvel Rivals yeah. coming December, baby. Yeah, I I mean, you know, we be in the other chat talking about it, and you know, obviously there are some other people with other feelings about it. I don't know what it is that I actually I can explain a few things that I like about it because 
without comparing it too much to Overwatch, which I'm obviously going to do a lot when I finally make my video, my full video on it. I think my favorite thing about this game is that every character has the ability to defend themselves or be a playmaker. You know what I mean? There are obviously some characters that are going to be a little bit more difficult to make very critical plays, but there are critical moments for those characters that they could have. You know, I remember when we first started, you know, talking about it and you were like, yeah, unfortunately I have to play heel slut. And, you know, my, my kind of pushback was, well, the heel sluts are kind of good because Rocket is great. Fucking Adam Warlock is great. Uh, let's see, uh, the shark, Jeff, the shark is great. So is Loki to some regard, maybe not for healing, but definitely for fucking with your opponents for sure. I, I remember playing as Loki a couple of times and being able to like teleport between the different clones that he has and like to see your enemy shooting at the wrong clones on purpose is just so fucking funny. It's hilarious. So, you know, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this game. Uh, I genuinely enjoy it, I think, because the characters are able to defend themselves. It's really fun because I was playing Overwatch the other day and I was playing Anna. And I was getting destroyed. I was getting destroyed by this one particular Winston who kept fucking diving me. But when you play as Venom and you try to dive a couple of healers, the TTK is a little too long for Venom. Just because he doesn't he doesn't do a whole lot of damage, I'm going to be honest with you. Mm. Um, but yeah, I was trying to make certain plays and the supports kept stopping me, bro. Like... They were really not having it. I mean, it obviously didn't stay that way because, <laughs> you know, I'm me. But uh, yeah, man, it was just it was just fun that that struggle of being back going back and forth. And I think, I think one of the big factors is probably six v six. I think because having two tanks, two healers, and two DPS, or them being able to switch around and stuff like that is is very helpful. So I didn't, I I don't know. Could be 6v6, could be, maybe I'm just, you know, slobbing the knob of this game. I don't know. Maybe I'm glazing it, but it's just a lot of fun when I play it. There are very few characters I was playing and not having a good time. Spider-Man for, for one. Yeah, I hated playing Spider-Man. I hated playing Spider-Man. Magneto was pretty good. Mantis was pretty good. Rocket, obviously. Rocket was probably one of my most played characters next to Venom. Um, Groot. I can't wait for them to add the thing. Um, oh, Hulk. Hulk was terrible. Um, damn. I'm trying to think. Who else did I not have a good time playing? I think that was pretty much it. I mean, obviously Scarlet Witch was fun playing. Uh, there might be another DPS. I didn't like playing Adam Warlock too much. Um, unless I was trying to kill shit. If I'm healing shit, I'm not really doing anything. But if I'm killing shit, oh, I'm going in. So, great game, man. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking for the next beta. Yeah, maybe. I, I, that game never. It doesn't doesn't really speak to me. It's fun, but like I don't I don't know. Is there maybe a I got a reason play... why or? Um, I just wasn't enjoying playing support characters. Like I just I think the teams be sometimes they're like really fucking stupid. I'm just getting oh, backlined yeah, yeah, the whole time. There was one true. time I got literally backlined for like, for like, forty-five seconds because nobody could turn around. No Spider-Man one gave a fuck. Was bullying you? Yeah, I couldn't do anything about it. And then we we won the game, but it was just like it was just really you just necessary. Switch to a different character. Um, because the game was over. The game was over before I. Yeah, I died uh, like one time, but it was. Oh, it so was you didn't really get a chance annoying. to enjoy it? It seemed like everybody else on your team was having a great time. Yeah, they were Spider Man and Black Panther were having a great time against, and I was just like sitting there, getting killed in the back. Like, why is this guy doing that? He's losing the game. Like, it, that was the worst part. Like, he lost the game because he just wanted to send him back. A little griefing, yeah, for sure, for sure. I could feel that. That's just fucking annoying. I I feel like that's could apply to a lot of games too. Like, that shit, that shit was happening to me a couple of times in uh, Overwatch not too long ago. Fucking Sombra just hanging out in the fucking background. Just coming and clapping me. So, not fun. Not fun at all. Um. 
Any other games you're looking forward to, man? Mm, not really. I guess no more Room in Hell, too, but... Yeah, that's kind of the only one I'm looking forward to. But that's... I mean, I play that game without you, but that's also because I'm going to play with you. I think it's fun. Yeah, I think the... I, I don't really... Didn't really like... Uh, what is that shit called? Um, fuck. Uh, State of Decay. Like, either of them, really, but... I think, like, a first-person aspect would have been really interesting. Oh, did we do... We didn't do POF today, did we? No, we didn't. 